to create a teaching sequence or a headland management sequence to uh, to automatically trigger multiple functions using the uh, go end buttons on the uh, on the joystick is to access that we come in through the uh, through the tractor come all the way down then to uh, to this button here and this then brings us in to the uh, to the teaching uh, teaching page now we have a lock unlock button at the top here so if it is uh, locked everything is uh, is grayed out but then we can unlock the uh, that button there and then we're ready to start to uh, to program our uh, our sequence now to program up which button we're going to use is in this uh, box here is we tap in there we have then our go one end one so that relates then to the uh, to the larger uh, go end buttons and then we have go to end two which are the small uh, round uh, go end buttons on the on the joystick but if i go and select uh, my uh, my go one highlight it and hit the uh, hit the tick button is i'm now ready to uh, to start uh, adding in my sequence now there's two ways that we could create a headland sequence is I could record everything. So I'd hit the uh, hit the record button, then press the uh, my large uh, go button because that's the one that I'm writing the uh, the sequence to, and then anything that I press on the on the armrest, anything that I do with my linkage, my spool valves, uh, activating a cruise control or an engine preset uh, on there would all be captured and would start to uh, fill in these uh, these sequence boxes uh, down here. The other way I can uh, I can record a, a sequence then is to use this uh, this edit offline button. So if I press on the, on that one uh, there, it brings me then into uh, into this this particular page here. I could if I've made mistakes, as I could tap in there and I could still then uh, you know reselect which uh, which which button I want to uh, write my sequence to. But effectively then is I'm then start I'll be starting to to build up. Uh, my list uh, in here. Now I've got uh, four buttons down the uh, down the side here, and they're just for uh, helping to uh, uh, to add in any sequences as we uh, as we start to build in. So my two uh, top buttons up here is they would actually if I've got something maybe not quite in the right place in the sequence, I can use them to uh, move either a secret you know particular element up or down. I've got to uh, add a new one, so I can press that several times. So I can add in lots of uh, lots of different uh, uh, functions that I'm going to be adding into, or I can uh, obviously then uh, hit the uh, hit the bottom one to uh, to delete an individual uh, uh, sequence function. So at the top here then is we have our function, we have our trigger, and then we have our uh, our value. So is the very first one is our trigger will always be us pressing our, uh, our one of the uh, go or M buttons and then the value in the in the first one is whether we're heading forwards or uh, or backwards so if i am heading forwards or got the forward selection is my headland sequence then will only be uh, active when i when i select and i'm going forwards if i'm still backing into a uh, into a corner of a field and i press the uh, press a go button uh, on there is my sequence won't be uh, won't be enabled won't be active uh, because i'm still going backwards and i'm not uh, not yet going forwards but i can choose then my uh, my function and then we have various uh, various groups we've got engine transmission we've got front linkage we've got rear linkage in here we've got pto we've got uh, um our uh, our guidance at the uh, there and then we can pick and choose in regards to uh, any of the uh, the spool valves and then uh, if we have got uh, um varia grip if we're on an 800 900 or a thousand series uh, then as we can also bring that into the uh, into the list but within here then is I ju i'm just picking and choosing what uh, what i want to do um to say for our sakes we had a uh, uh you know a a combination uh, power harrow um with a with a drill on is like i say right okay i'm gonna 
well, my first bit of the sequence then when I press my go button is, is I want a, a, a rear linkage function uh, to happen. So I selected my rear linkage and then in here then is again, I end up with uh, uh, some some uh, bits that uh, can happen with the, uh, with the rear linkage. So I've got a rear linkage stop, I've got a lifting of the rear linkage, a lowering of the rear linkage, lowering of the rear linkage and activating uh, wheel slip control at the at the same time i've got the uh, i've got the speed drop so that's where the uh, the linkage will actually uh, drop below your uh, your 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 uh, position control uh, setting so say for instance i was plowing it would give a a faster entry of the plow but the plow would go deeper than what uh, i'd had it ordinary set to in there but then if i also then put in the uh, speed drop stop then is once that sections added then the plow would then return uh, back up to my uh, my preferred working depth but because we've got to uh, uh, going with the example of a uh, of, of a drill a power drill combination is i select then linkage down hit the uh, hit the plot hit the tick button and so my trigger is going to be pressing the go button and then yeah i'm heading in uh, in forwards now because i've already got a box added in here i can start to say well what's going to be my uh, my next stage we can say well yeah going to uh, switch on the uh, the pto so in the function then is i find my uh, my pto uh, options in here again because it's a simulator a little bit limited as to what we've uh, what we've got pto wise but uh, in there then we tap we see options of uh, 540 540e or 1000 1000e uh, in that one so we've got our speeds there but then also stopping at the pto as well so we'll leave it selected at a uh, thousand of the on the pto and then i'm now selecting my uh, my trigger so in the trigger then is we've got a uh, um a height of the front linkage so the uh, lifting height or a lowering height of the front linkage same again then for the rear linkage so a lifting height lowering height so i scroll further down is then we've got with the uh, with the hand icon uh, then that is uh, would be me uh, physically pressing the uh, the go button again or the end button depending on which sequence i'm programming to advance uh, or to trigger that next stage um, the arrow with the s above it that's a after a distance so i could say after uh, x amount of uh, you know after a meter or two meters whatever to uh, switch the pto on or with the timer then is you know after x amount of of uh, seconds do would i want the uh, would, would i want the pto to kick in but ordinarily then with the pto's we probably look at a uh, you know the lowering height of the of the linkage so if i select lowering height there and now is i have a have a value be, be a percentage value and so then is highlight the uh, the box use the uh, the scroll wheel uh, on there so if i had say for instance it's my uh, um, I, I'd limited my maximum lifting height to say for instance, it's uh, seventy uh, percent. Is I could say okay, right with uh, with the uh, the PTO is when the uh, linkage hits um, sixty percent um, in there, then to uh, to switch the uh, switch the PTO on. Now to add in another line then because I might uh, after that so I say is, is is okay once the PTO is uh, engaged is uh, bring in um, my uh, my engine revs so to add in a new line I come down to the third one down here add uh, add a new one in so it replicates what we've already got but again come into my uh, into my function so I said now I'm going to go into uh, into an engine uh, function so it's already highlighted because it's the top one on the list there but if I hit the uh, hit the green tick then as I get now some uh, some options then in regards to engine transmission so we got deactivate cruise control activate cruise control one cruise control two min and max engine revs We've got uh, uh, switching off of those engine revs, obviously switching off uh, diff lock, permanent diff lock, auto diff lock uh, in there. We've got activating TMS, turning TMS off, uh, going between uh, switching on pedal mode, switching off pedal mode in there. Uh, and then ordinarily um, in there, we should also see is uh, four, our four wheel drive option. So we'd see a switch off four wheel drive, permanent four wheel drive, or uh, automatic four wheel drive but uh, with this simulator here it thinks it's a, a 1000 series uh, series tractor 
but yeah, I was going to go for my uh, for my engine rev. So I was like, say, right, we're going to go into uh, max engine revs to get my uh, my PTO uh, rev range on there. And again, is I can choose as to whether again on my trigger as to whether that would be again following on with the uh, the rear linkage position manual or a, or a time. But uh, if I hit the cross there, because it's already selected for rear linkage. So it could like, say that my PTO is switching on at uh, at 60%. So I'll let my PTO uh, switch itself on. And then is uh, I'll get the, uh, at uh, say for instance, it's at uh, 55%, uh, then is once the uh, PTO has started and uh, kicked in, then my uh, my engine revs will, uh, will pick up uh, in there. It might be then uh, that once the uh, once once the uh, once the power harrow is uh, down into the ground and I'm working, I might want to uh, say uh, operate a a spool valve to uh, to drop a a belt marker. So we add in uh, another line in here, and uh, I could say then pick and choose as to uh, which valve my belt marker is on. So say France says it was the, it was the green spool valve uh, here, and then again we get the we get the option. So stop. Uh, pumping on the spool valve, put the spool valve into float, uh, power down or uh, power up. So yeah, I'm going to be powering my uh, my valve down on there, and then is again I could choose my uh, my values. I'm going to like say okay, well let's let's do this after a after a distance in this example here, and then we can like say okay with the with that distance then after uh, after a meter. So what this means here is when we're setting uh, this figure here, it means a meter after sequence three has happened, will then my spool valve kick in. So I've got to, once my engine revs have come up, I've got to travel a, a meter further before then my uh, my spool valve will, uh, will kick in uh, in there. Now, if I've got a timer that's been set uh, back on my uh, on my spool valve page, then that timer will uh, will come through. If I didn't have a timer set, is the next sequence could be that uh, um, would be uh, would be then a go down to my green spool valve on there would be a spool valve stop, and then we could say for instance, let's put that to a uh, to a time in there. And then we can alter the uh, alter the particular time as to when that uh, when that spool valve up. But then I need to change this one back to a uh, to a time sequence. So this might be like saying um, after a uh, after one second lower the spool valve. But then if it takes uh, five seconds for that uh, for that uh, belt marker to 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 drop down, then as I scroll that round to to five seconds. So then after five seconds of the uh, spool uh, of the uh, belt marker dropping down. Then the uh, then the valve would uh, would stop itself. Then if I want to, is uh, I can add in and say for instance, we'll bring in um, a a cruise control speed. So engine transmission is already selected. Select a a cruise speed in there, and then again we can choose our uh, our value uh, with uh, within that one. Also we'll put this one back to a, a distance uh, in there, and then we sort of say you know it's pretty much. Almost as straight away as as soon as that the the, uh, the valve uh, the belt marker is uh, is finished uh, uh, dropping down is that we're going to uh, you know kick in our uh, our cruise control and we're not just limited to this these these six steps here if I keep adding in uh, in there so let's go you know I can keep adding in lots of uh, lots of stages uh, in there. And so I've got all the way down to uh, 39 uh, in there. So I could have 39 steps in uh, in my sequence. Now I've just done this for uh, for a rear linkage, but I could if I wanted to. Is I could have added in. Then you know I could have had, if I had a front press going down, I could put in that the right, front press would drop down first after X amount of uh, meters. Then the power harrow would start to lower down. Then the PTO would kick in. So I can encompass front and uh, and rear um, PTO. In the uh, in the sequences, and then is as you can see now is I'm just starting to uh, delete. I could go up a page, so I can start to see uh, further up there. Again, if I highlight in there, and I carry on deleting to get back to my uh, my sixth um, sequence, and we'll just scroll back up. So we can see our sequences there. Now, if 
uh, say for instance sakes that uh, my, my cruise control, I wanted that to happen earlier in the sequence. If I highlight it, so it's all highlighted there, and I wanted that to uh, to kick in, uh, say for instance straight away after my uh, I've, I've gone into my max engine speed, is if I've highlighted it, then I can move it uh, up the uh, up the up the order if there was something else that i wanted to happen in between these two stages again is i can hit my uh, add new button there and now it's it's added a new box uh, in that bit and then again i can pick and choose what uh, what i want to uh, to add into uh, into that section but once i'm happy with my uh, my sequence in there is i just hit the uh, hit the back arrow it says do i want to apply the changes yes i do in there and now that sequence has been saved to that so uh, that go one uh, button and then when I get to the other end of the field then is I go into my uh, my end button uh, effectively and then I start to almost repeat the, the, the same sequence but then I'll be saying that uh, when I get towards the end of the field it's going to be linkage up we're going to switch the PGO off. We're going to drop the engine. You come out of cruise control. Uh, we're going to uh, drop the engine revs down. And we're going to lift our uh, our belt marker um, up on there. If I have made a mistake to uh, to any one of those uh, sequences, is I can just re-highlight the uh, the sequence. I can go back into edit offline, and then again I can uh, I can make a change. So if one of these values here wasn't uh, wasn't quite right as uh, as what I wanted it to be, then as I can I can tweak that. And then when if I have made a change and I hit the uh, hit the back button again, it would ask me do I want to uh, make any uh, make any changes on there. Now what quite a lot of people will do in here is they'll go to the uh, um, go to button so the small round button and a lot of people then will just assign that one in the inner sequence to uh, to add in their uh, add in the auto steer engage so instead of reaching across to the uh, to the blister buttons to uh, engage the auto steer is they'll assign it um, to the uh, to the small uh, go button and so obviously it's already selected in this example here but uh, if I was doing that is I go to my function go down to uh, the uh, steering wheel icon and there we can see as you can see the auto steering gauge on there and then the trigger is going to be me pressing that uh, that go button straight away um, and that will engage the uh, the auto steer